And it seems so ancient now when the biggest story regarding people illegally entering the United States from our southern borders was the drug smuggling impact on America. Now, that has taken something of a backseat as the region is now almost paralyzed with a crush of immigrants pouring in from South America and other areas. However, do not forget for one second about the drug impact and how it intertwines with the current crisis. Joining us now for the Checks and Balances segment of Midpoint, special correspondent Francesca Page joins us with that story. Francesca? <laughs> It is estimated, Ed, that in the last 10 years, the number of people killed in drug wars is more than one and a half times the number of U.S. citizens killed in the whole of Vietnam War over 20 years. The rise in drug violence over the last three years may have something to do with the election of Mexican President Enrique Pina Nieto, who has investigated a massive government crackdown and widespread military operation against Mexican drug cartels. While the flow of drugs may have decreased to the U.S., this has come at a price to Mexico as well as places like Honduras. Most recently, the insurgence of over 13,000 Honduran miners flooding into our borders has raised a blame game regarding drug trafficking into the U.S. Le pediría al gobierno de Estados Unidos que toque este tema con suma delicadeza desde el lado humano. Son niños que vienen a buscar a sus padres y que tienen todo el derecho de estar con sus padres. En cuanto a las causas, probablemente sean ambos temas los que usted mencionó. La desinformación, que quizás creen que eso puede permitir un estatus legal, pero por otro lado también es, es, es una especie de desplazamiento por la guerra de los carteles y las maras en Centroamérica sobre el tema del narcotráfico, en el que quisiéramos que Estados Unidos ayudara más. Hernandez has placed blame on a security problem provoked by drug trafficking from the drugs that are consumed by the U.S. He has also said the U.S. has to be more proactive with the immigration reform because these separations are inhumane. Yet one of the big challenges for the U.S. is to strike a balance between responding to the crisis in a humane way without encouraging more immigrants to come across the border. Should the U.S. be taking responsibility for what is being called our drug problem? Or should these homelands be held responsible for the border crisis? If Congress is to address immigration reform, will that really put an end to the problem of transit and security south of the border? The debate now continues. It's interesting, too, because Mexico has recently come out and said, well, if Mexicans are crossing the United States border, it's not illegal to us. Right. So they are really still in many ways taking very little responsibility for it, and they will always seem to leave it to the Americans. Well, there's a lot of issues at hand here, Ed. I mean, I think the point is that uh, Hernandez is trying to, uh, in a sense, ask Congress here for support, for financial aid, um, you know, for social programs, and to work jointly to end these uh, drug cartels in Honduras, like uh, he says Congress have done, you know, for Colombia and for Mexico. But the question here is, you know, what is that going to solve the issue? And what can be done to solve the issue at this stage? Well, also, if you think about it, the drug cartels are their own state. They are their own government. They are their own presidents. Right. In many ways, while they have been minimized in the last few years, they still have an immense hold on the Mexican country and the government itself. The corruption is rampant. So until the Mexican government takes care of that and, again, takes care of their own, what can America really hope to do? Well, America can, on one hand, obviously try and solve this drug problem within our own borders. But then when it's coming now in, in terms of immigration to, to where, what the U.S. Border Patrols are doing, their focus now is, is so much on, on this humanitarian crisis of helping you know, these miners coming in that it's not on, the, on necessarily the security aspect of making sure that this drug trafficking is under control. A very timely report indeed. Thank you very much. Now we ask you to go ahead and tell us what you think on social media as well with this issue. Border patrol is stretched thin these days, and this is a problem that's been around for a long time and isn't going away. Neither are we. We're coming right back because this is Midpoint, where every day we question everything. Attention.